Yo ballers, today we're gonna test Peak Flash 3. I went through a lot in these shoes. A dunk show, shooting of a music video, a dunk contest on a TV show, and a basketball documentary production. It's been a while since I got attached to a pair of sneakers so tightly, but let me put all these great memories aside and let's get straight to the facts as always. Let's see what the Peak Flash 3 actually are. Let's go! Technically these are true to size, but only if you are looking at the US sizing. The rest of the size chart on the label is incorrect. The main issue with the Peak Flash 3 Comfort and Feet is that they are best suited for the players with wider feet. There's much room in the toe box and I liked it when I wore these shoes casually. I mean when I wore them casually straight to the court. No worries if you have a high arch. The inner booty is pretty stretchy and the rest can be adjusted with the lacing. The stepping comfort is pretty good and you don't need any time to break them in. I could do all the exercises on my first practice in these without any discomfort. But my homeboy Mr. Cake had a rub from the metal eyelid. Maybe that's because of his crazy wide feet. I didn't have this issue but I'll have to drop the comfort score because of this. Overall comfort is okay, the shoes are non-restrictive, there's enough padding inside and there are three Achilles pods in the heel area. The only issue is breathability which is absent and your foot hits up pretty quickly as you start running. <laughs> Cushioning. Well, I took part in a few dunk contests in these shoes, and I wouldn't say the cushioning is something godlike, they just match my new shorts very well. But back to the topic, there's a layer of super p motive foam in the midsole. I should say that the impact protection is not what it's good at. I felt impact both in the forefoot and the heel, my poor heel. Word, if you weigh over 160 pounds, this cushion is not enough, but it gives you great core feel instead. The traction pattern here is, I don't know, maybe it's the Great Wall? Whatever it is, it works. The grip is surprisingly good and squeaky even on a dusty court. Or it wasn't the court, I just forgot to wash the sole after playing outdoors where I played on every possible court and didn't have any issues with the traction. The materials used on the shoe are pretty basic, mostly mesh and fuse. The fuse is adorned with scales pattern which looks pretty nice, better than nothing, and I gotta admit there's a carbon plate in the midsole at least. When it comes to assembly quality it's decent, no threads peeking out, no glue stains, nothing like that, the shoe looks pretty well built. Weight. The official peak website says it's one and a half kilos or three and a half pounds, but I guess it's for both shoes and the box included. As a matter of fact, one shoe weighs just 452 grams or 15.9 ounces for size 12 US. This is one more reason I loved flying in these. Durability wise, no worries people, I gave them like a year's mileage in two months playing outdoors, indoors, jumping, dunking and there are no big signs of wear and tear and no parts seem to be falling off. Awesome. As I said, these are best suited for people with wider feet and the toe box area is pretty wide and roomy. The lockdown is provided mostly by the laces and the stiff upper in the forefoot kinda holds your foot in place and parts of the midsole sorta cage it from the sides. The heel cup is there and it's pretty solid but it's pretty wide also, so if you have a narrow foot there will be no great lockdown there and it may lead to an injury. But for wider feet it should be fine. When it comes to stability it's all good, there is a solid outrigger that prevents your foot from toppling over to the side and then there's a carbon torsion plate in the midfoot that adds to torsional rigidity. Lacking cushioning is a safety issue and I will have to drop the score because of it. You don't want to smash your heel every time when landing in this. All in all Peak Flash 3 came out better than the previous model and the progress is a good thing. 
we would recommend these sneakers for speedy and dynamic guards. They will not suit bigger and more athletic players because of the lackluster cushioning though. You can also use Peak Flash 3 outdoors to destroy your street ball opponents. That's all for today. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Also subscribe to our Instagram at Kicks Contest World where we put ratings, teasers, first impressions, basketball and sneaker news, word, fun stuff. Stay tuned for the next video because this is gonna be a top of the best basketball sneakers in 2021-2022. This was Kicks Contest, I'm Lecha Matras Fly White, peace everyone. Kusti Subchik